Yeah, you can't really see it, but there is a really, really robust... Is that a Douglas fir? I'm not sure if it's a Douglas fir, but it's, it's a very robust and wide tree. Um, I've always been really drawn to it. It's very powerful. And as you can see, the leaves of the tree are right here. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing something different tonight. Um, yeah, usually right now I'd be uh, asleep in my bed, or at least in my bed. But uh, I just felt kind of drawn to come out and. <clears throat> Those are raindrops you're seeing. It's raining a little bit. Um, kind of cool looking. But yeah, I just felt drawn to come out to the park for some reason. I don't really know why, to be honest. So I just did it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> but I want to talk about, uh, you know, my trip today. Uh, and yes, I did take some acid that I got from um, one of my... Uh, uh, managers at the, the last job I was working at. <coughs> really, really awesome guy. His name's Phil. Um, super awesome dude, actually. He, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's interesting. Both he, me and him are like uh, super tall and we both had beards and we both kind of covered our heads up. So it's kind of like we were like, I don't know, just very similar people in stature. And he was like three years older than me. So we're also similar in age and just a very intelligent, um, sweet, but also like harsh dude that um, out of everybody, I probably bonded with him um, the best. Um, a lot of us could do with a very similar age, but uh, a lot of it also too was uh, I also felt very drawn to him, like on a spiritual sense. And he also, <coughs> I don't know if also is the right word, but. He's, uh, he'd been, uh, recently divorced from his wife, um, I think for, I think it was just about hit the year mark, um, and he, he told me he was pretty devastated by it, um, but anyway, so, I mean, he had some loss, like, you know, that's one thing I think also helped us be able to relate to each other was that we had some trauma, you know, <laughs> some deep trauma that... We were kind of both in because at the time, you know, I'm still in it right now. I was very much alone in, in my, you know, drug addictions and all this and that. So that helped us connect. But anyway, so he's the one who gave me uh, that acid. And uh, oh, I must have got it about three weeks ago or three months ago, excuse me. And I decided to. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I'm going to take it my first day off. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not really in the best space, like, mentally to take. Like, I'm not in the best space. Like, so in my experience, if you're not in the best space, like, you're not feeling all right about things, <laughs> taking those type of hallucinogens, or whatever you want to call them, um, you can have a bad trip, a really bad trip. And it's like, well, it's like, okay, I don't really need... This thing to tell me that I'm already fucked up. I already can tell I'm fucked up. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna hold off on taking this acid until I feel better. Cause I want to have a good trip. I don't want to just 
you know, force myself into an even more painful situation than I'm already in. I already know I'm fucked up. <laughs> so I waited. <clears throat> I kept that little bit of acid in my drawer and a sulfane inside of an empty cigarette pack for, like I said, about three and a half months. And then, um, yeah, just, you know, since coming back from Bend, which has only been, I don't know, like three or four days, um, I've been starting to feel better. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I've been doing things too. I've been reading a lot more. I've been continuing to cut back on my creative consumption. Um, I haven't smoked cigarettes in probably close to two months, not even one cigarette. So that's really good <clears throat> for my respiratory system and also just for my willpower. Like anytime you're able to conquer an addiction, you, are, you do become stronger. So <clears throat> every addiction and problem in, in front of you or with you, whatever you want to call it, is also an opportunity for growth. Uh, or they can be, you know, or they can fucking weaken you. But anyway, uh, so I took the acid and uh, <laughs> had a little trip and it came on quick. And uh, I don't know, you know, I just, um, before I took the acid, I asked, you know, to, like, if there's, any, you know, I asked. My, 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 I tried to put out there my purpose in taking this acid was to help figure out what I need in this moment like just to try to help figure out what I'm missing or this or that or give me some type of euphoric you know message or you know just something I guess sacred that I didn't have or I felt I needed like I was looking for something like I was trying to take it with a purposeful intent of seeking something you know valuable or uh, that I could use for or, something I was missing and try to apply it I took it with that intent and um, I mean now you know I'm feeling I'm totally feeling it going away I've already taken some caffeine and a little bit of kratom to just uh, get back on my normal routine of intake on things and it's like uh, nothing came to me throughout the whole experience um, no there was no no enlightening messages, no, um, nothing new I found, no uh, awe-inspiring moments of realization or anything like that. Um, just kind of like a disorientated, trippy, like melting, I, I felt myself like melting into everything, which was kind of cool, but it was kind of like just like being in an amusement park. Like I kind of just felt <laughs> like it was a, just like fun, like it was just some jolly fucking, Thing I was doing for shits and giggles. Like, I didn't really feel anything super sacred behind it or at all. And um, so yeah, I, uh, I actually get now you know, doing it. I feel like I started feeling bad. I feel like I kind of wasted. Uh, I don't really believe in the word waste, but I, I felt like I could have been much more productive had I not taken it. So uh, you know, what I've come to conclusion to at this point is that I don't need anything man like it's just that's you know me asking for what I needed and me finding not getting anything shown to me that I need is the answer in itself but I don't need anything and I'm fine that everything that I need is this <laughs> and I definitely don't need to continue to take more of these mind altering substances that just make me even more detached and humanity and, and all of creation too because another thing I really didn't like about this experience was that I was communicating with my family and like helping out with dogs and stuff like um yeah I, I, there was a little bit of, for the first one was peaking I just stayed downstairs uh during a few you know when I mean, there was probably some time I should have came upstairs to help out but I chose not to because I was a little overwhelmed with my experience and I felt strange. I started to feel like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm a 36 year old dude living in my parents' basement, I'm tripping on acid right now, and I'm hearing a bunch of dogs and people upstairs running back and forth, and it's just a bunch of, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of crazy, chaotic action and energy that I'm usually, you know, all right at helping, you know, deal with. And right now I feel unable to do so. 
so um, that that hurt. That, that made me feel like uh, I was letting my family down, and again, I was indulging in things that I didn't really need, and um, that weren't really helping me. They were just continuing. Like I was, I've been on a really good flow, so. And uh, I, I kind of, um, I started to feel myself feeling like I was going back. I'm starting to, like, I'm feeling better now, but I, just a few hours ago, I was feeling like I was going back to that deep, dark hole that I just got out of. <laughs> and, um, you know, so, um, one of the best ways to change oneself is just to do things differently with your life. And sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, it does start with the little things, like this, for example. Like, instead of just going to sleep and just staying in my bed or trying to do whatever the fuck it is I do to distract myself, I decided to go out, <laughs> you know, and go to the park and just walk and talk. Come outside, and it's peaceful out here at night, too. A lot of times in the day, uh, well, I mean, it's kind of the, the winter season, so it's not too popular, but it's definitely more isolated at night. So it's, if you're looking for some peace and, you know, um, just to not be noticed, which is good sometimes, if you're really just trying to not be noticed, you know, I mean, people, when they look at you, that is an energy from them that gets transferred to you upon them looking on you. So if you're really trying to just stay inside yourself and reflect on really who you are and what you got going on, it can be good sometimes not to be seen by people <coughs> so coming out at night can be uh, advantageous for that so yeah I'm uh, headed back to the house now and um, probably gonna say goodbye soon but I have been thinking about joy a lot and there's some things I want to say um, about her and um, yeah, and, and my involvement in <clears throat> just, there's some things I need to say, and I've been thinking about her, and yeah, so I love you guys, hope you all take care, alright, bye.